What is up, YouTube? Carlo J here. I got my best friend Nikki, got my cousin Aliana, my cousin Aaron with me tonight. Hey. We are about to cover another segment of my late night venting segment of my channel. The topic that we're going to be covering tonight is five reasons why you should take things slow before getting into a relationship. First reason why you want to be able to take things slow before getting into a relationship is because you want to be able to build a friendship first. You don't want to jump into a relationship Not being enough. like, why am I going to a relationship and I don't even know this person, how they okay, react to certain okay. things. Okay. Like, nigga's been my best friend for like, eight years? Uh, like 20... 10. 2010? Oh, so six long? years. This is, what's it? Oh, I thought it was like 2009. Yeah, okay, so like six years. Nikki, I know her really well. She knows how I react to certain things. She knows how I, or I know how she reacts to certain things. What makes her mad, upset, annoyed, annoyed. Okay, we're not dating, <laughs> but you know. We're not dating. You get the picture. But you get the picture. Like, we're just really good friends. Definitely get to know the person and build a friendship with the person that you want to get your relationship with because you want to be able to genuinely know them. You want to know how they react to certain things and how they act and what makes them happy, sad. You don't want to jump into a relationship yet. Well, I don't even know what to do. I mean, it's okay to get to know somebody when you're already in a relationship with them, but you want to have, at least have a good grasp, a good understanding of how they work. Okay, so when you rush into things, you tend to get caught up in the other person, and then you forget to prioritize yourself. So you do everything they want to do, you put them first, you forget about your own goals, mm -hmm. your, um, and all that, and after that, you know, if that doesn't work out, you basically have nothing because you forgot about yourself and did everything for the other person, so. And that's why don't move too fast, you know, just take it easy. Just take it slow, you gotta think, you live in the moment, it. like live action, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another important thing to remember is that even when you do decide to make it official or put a title on it, at the end of the day, you're always gonna be friends. So that's why building a friendship first in the beginning is like most important. I Don't think, and I believe that, I firmly believe in that. Subject two, okay. okay. So, point number two, point two. is um, prioritizing what you need to do in your life. For example, don't put them first. Do not. Like, you, like always remember that you have things that you have to do, that you have to mm -hmm. prioritize um, your responsibilities. They're always going to come second in what you need to do. Bring, bring. What's up, B? Hi, Bay. What are you doing? Uh, right now I was just uh, watching some TV. What's going on? Wait, is that is that your stomach growling? No. Wait, have you had dinner yet? Like, when was the last time you ate? No, I haven't had dinner since I got back from Mexico. You haven't eaten since you got back from Mexico? That was almost two weeks ago. Well, I mean, you're important to me. I'm trying to prioritize you first. That's it. So basically, the moral of the story is Someone should compliment your life, not be your entire life. Ooh, got him. Don't let the world revolve around them. Nope. nope. It has like to be that. you. You have to be selfish sometimes in life. Do yep. you. So the third point oh, is finding balance for your time and the other person's time. You shouldn't, you know, not have time for the other person. And the other person shouldn't have time, shouldn't not have time for you. Because then what's the point of being in a relationship with each other? If you guys aren't able to like hang out or talk or, you know, just enjoy your time with each other it's like it's like you have your own life it's like too. it's like having your own schedule in your life your routine you know you go to work you study you go to the gym and then at you the end of the day you take a shit you go poop your pee you take a shower you do whatever you get home and then when you have that time when you're you know unwinding you can call you know your your girlfriend or your, the girl or guy you can call them and let them know know about your day because What's the point of just texting them all day when you're not even getting your stuff done? You're literally not sharing yourself with your responsibilities. You're making that person. Exactly. Like an example is like, wrong. okay, like if you're in high school or college and you know, you got this loads of homework and you gotta study for a test, but like, oh, I wanna <coughs> talk to my boo though. Instead of studying for my test that I got tomorrow, I gotta do my homework, that's due at midnight. She's like, I just wanna spend time with them. I just wanna text them, I wanna call them on the phone, I wanna FaceTime, I wanna Skype, whatever. Right? Yeah, like, wouldn't you rather, like, see the person and, like, have all, all this stuff to talk about, like, your day and everything, <coughs> rather than having nothing to talk about anymore? Something <laughs> wait, Ring, though. ring, ring! What up, babe? What you up to? Hi, Erin. Um, let's go get some ice cream and maybe get some in and out I'm kind of really feeling like a, a, a cheat meal today. But I'm hitting the gym, like, you know this. When I go to the gym, I'm focused. Like, why do I want to hit the gym, though? Forget the gym. Let's just go hang out. Alright, boy, I got you. Let's go. 
<laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right, number four is establishing a foundation of trust. Obviously, when you want to get into a relationship, you definitely have to have that trust, right? You gotta have that communication. Trust is key. Nobody wants us to succeed, right? Another DJ one. Khaled. Right, Another DJ one. Khaled. <laughs> Another one. At DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want us to have no <laughs> They don't want us to have this. They don't want us to have fun. They don't want us to be happy. They don't want us to vlog. We don't want Abby to be happy. We don't want that happy. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. You know, you don't want to have to stress um, and, and worry about where their whereabouts are and what they're doing and stressing out about are they doing this or are they let doing that. Be, let them have fun. Let you have be. fun. You know, don't That's ask questions. Just, exactly. just do it. Don't be like, babe, what you doing now? What you doing? You going out? You going out? Don't ask too much questions. Just let it be. You know what I mean? Okay, so like when you're on Instagram, right? And then like your significant other like yeah, posts okay. a picture or no, no, not post a picture. Like they like... A girl. Some really hot girl's photo. And she's hot, she has big old. Oh, like some girl. You know what I mean? Okay. okay, so like some girl has like a really hot, like her like boobs are showing, showing in his that. body. Yeah. And then like he likes it. And then you go, you're looking at it, and you, you know, you're being a. Babe, sucker. why'd you like that? And you're like, wait, I know everyone on here but this girl. Uh huh. Who is this? And then you ask them about it, and you're like, okay, just wondering, but I saw this girl who liked your picture. Who is that? And it turns out it's their cousin. Like, that's. Could be like a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cousin, huh? Yeah. Oh, shoot. And you it was cousin. Really cousin. It and was then really you assume cousin. it's someone else. Just because she looks good, you oh assume something God. else. Or it's like you're looking at their Instagram yeah. profiles, like the, the ratio, like the follower to following, oh, and it's like yeah. following 478. And followers for something like, oh, who's this new chick? When it ends up being like his sister's friend or something, you know? Don't assume too much. So I feel like females don't jump assume. to conclusions because conclusion. that's why you start don't fighting. Judge them, you know? That's why you start. Just let it be sometimes. Yeah. But you should never lie to a girl because they always know, though. They always find out too. The yeah, thing is, they, the thing is funny. The thing is just funny. Just don't though. lie. Yeah, I'll tell you guys this lie, though. You when, the, when the ladies ask a question, they and automatically they know this thing. They just want to test you and see what yeah, would you say. Exactly. So that's like, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, yeah, don't, yeah. okay yeah. hold on, hold on. But on a side note, on no, a side anyway, note, wait, 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 wait. Let's talk. He's on the rant right now. No, no, I'm just on the rant. Okay, go ahead, CJ. No, I don't know. Yes, go ahead. I messed up my thought. Go ahead. No, 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 no. They it's know fine. when you lie. They know when you lie. It's automatic to them. They have that, that, that sense, the, the, the thought, and be like, boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? So just don't lie. Don't lie at all. Just but, be honest. But realistically, though, but, like so the way I am sometimes, it's like it's okay to be jealous, right? It's okay to be jealous, but like, let, yeah, yeah, jealous. but when you're like overbearing, though, like you get jealous. But yo, why did this guy add you on Instagram? Why did this girl add you on Instagram? Why did your hold sister? Why did your mom? On, why did your teacher add you on Instagram? Down, down, like, down. Down. Um, the last point is you want to have a sense of security that it's going to be a long-term thing because usually with things that happen quick and quick because like you didn't do any of the f previous four things unless you're in that phase of your life you don't want to be with a fuck boy Ooh. or a fuck girl you don't we just want to have sex and bang it out ETF. yeah ETF. not not yeah. actually want to get to know you as a person and you know be with you example who how do you keep, how can you tell no i got i got you. I'll, 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 I'll do an example i don't want to say it loud so, 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 no 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 Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Mickey, what you up to tonight, though? Hey, I haven't talked to you in like three days. You gotta kick it tonight? Um, no. I got a bottle. What? It's literally, you haven't talked to me in like three days. I miss you, though. It's been so long. Oh my gosh. No, you're literally acting like a F boy. Please, I miss you. What can I do to please you, though? I don't know. Can I make you happy? <laughs> it's like sex. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a prime example of a fuck boy. A fuck boy, aka a person that literally is a player. Just wants to get it. Just wants in. to get it in DTF. all the time. Some like he game. literally only asks you for one thing, and because he wants it. to get it in in yeah. those pants, that like boom, boom, boom. You know, so watch out. Though. Those guys talk hella genuine, but you can tell it's like hella fake. But the the thing is though, how okay. So if it was a more genuine person that actually wants to legit have a long term relationship with you, because what if they just have that kind of personality though? He what now? What well, if they, what if they just are slick talker like that though? But it's not hard to like text the person once a day be like, hey, good morning, good afternoon. But if he's so, oh wait, wait, okay, so more so like, if you're a fuck boy, like you're just gonna hit the girl as a convenience yeah. versus like, I'm actually taking initiative to hit them up, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. We all humans, you gotta get to know somebody. No, that was a good, well, that was a good point. point. <laughs> Ultimately, you don't want to waste your time, but you most probably don't want to waste their time. Like, even if you yourself aren't feeling it, you don't think it's gonna be long term. Then, if you guys can't come to a compromise and maybe see w how you can make it long term, then I mean, just you just gotta let it go, right? And the you good thing, it. the good thing about that is, yeah, is that as you're getting to know that person, that person's teaching 
it's more stuff about you that you probably haven't noticed because you know. Ooh, that's a good oh. one too. Oh. Slow down. Oh, I just, just want to get to know you, you but <laughs> don't turn around. You want to find a person that's just like, let's talk about sex, baby. baby. Let's, let's talk, talk about you and me. me. Let's, let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that could be. Let's talk about sex. This is how we do it. I love you, bitch. I know. Gotta, you see, it's Fuck. boy, you should know that I've got you on my right, mind, my secret admirer. I've been watching you. That is tonight's segment of late night venting, um, covering five reasons why you should take things slow before getting into a relationship. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this on your Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, your Twitter. Don't forget Twitter. Right? Yeah. That was a good one, right?